The area in front of the motor cortex of the frontal lobe is known as the prefrontal cortex, and it's very important to your integration of self and how God changes your brain. Andrew Newberg and Mark Robert Waldman demonstrate through research and imaging how the frontal lobe creates and integrates all your ideas about God, both positive and negative. If our thoughts are fixed on our union with God and God's love for us, it will strengthen the prefrontal cortex. There are several distinct areas of the prefrontal cortex that empower our union with God. The orbital frontal cortex is associated with inhibiting inappropriate social behaviors. It works in conjunction with the anterior cingulate cortex, especially regarding coordination of emotional reaction. The ventromedial prefrontal cortex is activated when we see people to be like ourselves and we think about them. It's part of your self-referencing center that helps you ask questions such as, what's in it for me? Just above the ventromedial prefrontal cortex is the dorsomedial prefrontal cortex. It helps serve as a more deliberative self-referencing center. Our Christian faith calls us to surrender to God and conceptually see ourselves from God's desires and perspective of us. Rather than simply asking, what's in it for me? The dorsomedial prefrontal cortex helps us mentally ask, what is God calling me to do? To strengthen this higher ground brain circuitry, we can make it a habit to be mindful and observe our thoughts. Our faith calls us to feed the hungry or visit the sick. But the mental process of stepping back and questioning why people are sick or hungry in the first place might help us deliberately change root problems, keeping people sick or hungry. Habitually observing and questioning our thoughts will strengthen the dorsomedial prefrontal cortex so that we can be more proactive rather than reactive. At the upper sides of the frontal lobe is the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. It plays a strong role in our ability to make decisions about long-term goals and aspirations. This is called our executive function and helps us follow our hopes and our dreams. Scripture reminds us of God's hopes and dreams for us. God's hope for us is for love, joy, and peace to flow through us and for that love, joy, and peace to flow from us out into the world.